Hi, I'm Chef Ange. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. On today's episode, I want to show you how to make this amazing and easy jalapeno cornbread. Get rid of that dry and chalky cornbread recipe. There's a new sheriff in town. Super moist and packed with flavor. This cornbread is going to be the star of any holiday meal or any summer barbecue. Don't believe me? Try it and find out. For the full directions and ingredient list of this recipe, check the description box below. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos every week. Let's get cooking. There's not much prep needed for this recipe, just slicing and dicing some jalapenos. Here I'm doing three full jalapenos. You can always do more, you can always do less. You can even eliminate the jalapenos because this is a really solid cornbread recipe. So now I'm gonna mix my dry ingredients, which is gonna be my flour, my cornmeal, and some baking powder in a bowl. I'm gonna whisk them together until they're nice and uniform. The inspiration for this recipe is the cornbread at Blanchard's, which is a restaurant in Anguilla. Somebody told me about this recipe one time, and as soon as I made it, I fell in love and just adjusted a few things to make it in a cast iron and make a larger version with the jalapenos. Now we're going to take out our stand mixer. I'm going to throw our sugar in there and some butter that's room temperature. And I've already sliced the butter up, so it creams up very nicely. And here we're just using two sticks of butter that I cut up, and then I just left out so they softened up a little bit. So now we're gonna put the mixer on and I'm gonna keep mixing this until it gets nice and creamy and smooth. And if you don't have a stand mixer, you can always use a handheld mixer. And if you don't have a handheld mixer and you wanna do this by hand, good luck and get your cardio in. Now we're gonna add some shredded cheddar cheese. Next thing we're gonna throw in there is two cans of cream corn. This is gonna add a lot of moisture to this cornbread, make sure it's not dry and some crushed pineapple and I put this in a strainer and pushed out as much juice as possible so it's moist but doesn't have any extra juice. And now we're going to continue to mix that until that's nice and uniform. We're going to add half of that dry mix from before. We're going to incorporate that and you don't want to throw it in all at once. Half's okay. And then here's the other half. And we're gonna to continue to mix that until it turns into like a nice gravelly, crumbly mix. Now here come the eggs. These are also at room temperature and I'm adding each one one at a time into the mixer and I'm not adding the next one until the previous one's fully incorporated. It's generally considered best practice to crack the eggs into containers instead of cracking them into the mixing bowl like I'm doing here. But I like to live dangerously Assess your own risk level and proceed as you find appropriate. All right, well, here come the jalapenos. We're going to put a little bit more than half of them, and we're going to mix them into the batter by hand, and we're going to reserve the rest of them to sprinkle on top. Now I'm going to heat up a cast iron skillet. This is a big one. This is a 13 inch. And I'm going to put some butter in there. And once that's hot enough that I get a good sizzle and that butter just begins to brown, I'm going to pour the batter inside the skillet so we get nice browning right from the go. Now I'm going to sprinkle the rest of the jalapenos on top. And this is going to go in a 325 degree oven for about an hour and 10 minutes. I was a little scared because this cornbread was filled right up to the top and I thought it was going to spill over. But with just a little bit of luck, this thing came out absolutely perfect. Nothing spilled over and it cooked right over to the top with a beautiful brown crust on the top. Now look at that cornbread. You're going to want to let this rest for anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour until it's fully cool. And that's just going to help it all stay together while you slice it and serve it. Here we let it rest for about a half hour and you can see as I'm pulling it out it's super steamy and the edge just didn't quite make it but it's still good enough that we all got it out in one piece. Now we're gonna give it the ultimate upgrade, a little slice of butter and some honey right over the top. Chives to finish, cause green stuff is pretty. And now check that out. All right, let's see how we did. I can't wait to taste this. This is such an amazing version of cornbread. It's not dry at all. It's super duper moist. It smells unbelievable. Here we go. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna even say anything. I'm just going straight in for another bite. That is 
just so, so, so good. Mm. I mean, I've had other cornbreads before, like traditional cornbread. Those tend to be a little dry, but this is so moist, so sweet. The pineapple and the cheese, you can't even taste even the pineapple and the cheese inside of this, but it just lends such a nice flavor and moisture and so balanced. Mm. Well, I'm Chef Ange. This is my jalapeno cornbread. Let me know in the comments section how your jalapeno cornbread comes out. Uh, give this video a like, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that notification bell. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.